Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll be going through all the best settings for dueling in Battlefront 2, including how to change the colors of your levels, aim assist, sensitivity, and much more. Starting off in controls, and going down to soldier sensitivity, I believe it's very important to have 100% soldier sensitivity when dueling. It lets you react to things faster and all in all is just a great thing and will also improve your hook swings. This may seem daunting to people that are used to lower sensitivities, but if you increase your soldier sensitivity by a margin of 2 or 3% each time you get on the battlefront, you should find yourself feeling comfortable with 100 in no time. Going up to zoom sensitivity, if you didn't know, when you're blocking your zoom sensitivity kicks in and if your zoom sensitivity is high, then your camera will be able to move faster when you're blocking, although if it's lower, it'll make you slow. So I think that it, you should have a zoom sensitivity of anywhere between 50 and 100% depending on where you're comfortable with. This will make it so that your zoom sensitivity will make your block faster camera movement than slower. I like 90% because it feels like a good balance between super fast but not crazy on 100. 100 to me is just slightly too fast so I like 90% but anywhere somewhere between about 50 and 100% should be a good area for zoom sensitivity. Now going down to stick dead zone, the way I like to think about dead zone is it's the percentage of the button you need to press before you get an input. So say if the stick dead zone was on 23%, you'd have to press 23% of the button before it gives you an input. So the lower this is, the less of an input delay you'll have. Although if you put it too low, your inputs will start going through without you even pressing the button and it gets really annoying. So I think the lowest you can get without that happening to you is the best setting for stick dead zone. The soldier buttons can make a game changing difference to your dueling playstyle if you switch them to alternate. If you switch them to alternate, then R3 will now be your dodge button, meaning that you won't have to take your finger off the thumbstick to dodge. This can make your gameplay much faster and better, although it's really hard to get used to if you're used to the default like I am. So I wouldn't recommend switching it unless you're comfortable trying to get used to it, although if you're just getting into dueling now, it might be a good idea to switch it to alternate so that you can practice and get used to and develop your playstyle around this alternate soldier buttons. Although I do prefer default just because that's what I'm used to. Moving out of controls and into gameplay, vibration will give you a smoother experience if you turn it off, but a more immersive experience if you keep it on. I prefer to keep it on, but it won't impact your gameplay too much, so you can do whatever you like with this. Aim assist, however, can actually be pretty game changing. When aim assist is on, it'll make it so that when you're blocking, it'll try and put your reticle on your enemy's hitbox more accurately. This can be good for lunges and saber throws, although when trying to do stuff like hook swings or the hook swing after dash technique, it can mess you up and mess with your camera control. So sometimes it's better to leave it off for a smoother experience. I prefer to keep it on because then that way my lunges are more effective and saber throws will hit more often, but you can keep it off if you prefer to have full control over your camera. Heads up display or HUD visibility is something that I'd quickly like to mention. What it does is if you turn the scopes only or off, it'll make it so that all your display things like your health, your stamina and your abilities will just go away and you'll get a nice cinematic screen. This is terrible for dueling because you can't see a thing, although it can be a fun challenge that you can do with your friends, or you can turn it off if you're dueling a low level to give yourself a bit of a challenge. Down here are all things you can do to customize your experience, like changing the color of your crosshair or making the kill message go on the side instead of underneath. If you go a bit further down, you can partially turn your heads up display off by getting rid of things like the game mode bar or the radar if you don't want them. I like to do this sometimes because I only keep what's essential for dueling with my health, my stamina and my abilities, and then it's like dueling with no HUD, which is nice and crisp, but I can still see the things that I need for dueling. Moving out of gameplay and into video, you can change the color of your levels and outlines using the colorblind profiles. The default is a very bright yellowy orange, but the other three in my opinion look much nicer. If you like heroes vs villains, I wouldn't use these two because the light yellow and the light green make it hard to see the enemy tickets because it's white on those two light colors. Instead I would use this one because it still gives the nice blue color on the levels, however you can still read the enemy tickets. I like this one because there's no super loud colors or anything, and in my opinion it just looks the nicest. Although it is hard to see enemy tickets in Heroes vs Villains, so sometimes I do switch it to this one. 
Brightness is a setting that will mainly only change on darker maps like the Resurgent class Star Destroyer or Nighttime on Endor. This is because it allows you to see yourself and your enemy much more clearly if you would have left it at 50%. Although I will switch it back down to about 50% on normal maps otherwise the screen is way too bright for my liking. Motion blur amount is something that pretty much just determines how sharp the effect of your screen looks. So if it's at zero, the effect will be incredibly sharp, although it doesn't look super nice. Although if you turn it up to 100, everything is super smooth, but sometimes it's harder to see things while you're turning your camera. I prefer it at 0% because that allows for a much sharper and cleaner effect in my opinion, although you can put it to whatever you want because it shouldn't affect your gameplay that much. These last three options are purely cosmetic, just like the last two, and you can do whatever you want with them to tune them to what your eyes like to see. I prefer these two on and this one off, but again, you can just do whatever you want with these. It shouldn't affect your dueling playstyle too much. And those are the best settings for dueling in Battlefront 2. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you out on the Battlefront.